Good afternoon. I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday. So I am trying to get motivated today. I've actually been doing kind of a lot of stuff around the house that I need to get done. You know, all that good stuff, laundry and cleaning. But I am going to start on these eggs. So I've come to conclusion that I'm probably going to need this right here to put eggs on because obviously that's not going to work. It's going to fall through that. And this would actually be nice for the tomatoes too because the tomatoes did kind of get stuck to all that. They came off, but cleaning was not super fun. So if it dehydrates well on these, I'm gonna purchase some more of these. I found um, on Nesco's website, they actually have these or Amazon. You can buy quite a few of them for probably a little bit cheaper. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna try one tray of eggs and see if this works. If it works, I think I'm gonna purchase some more of these and we're gonna go from there. But let's just, let's just start off and give it a try and see how it does because I've never dehydrated eggs before. So we're going to start out with just raw eggs, mix them up, and then put a layer on here. This has a lip on it so they won't you know, fall off the side and roll off the side. But I'm still going to put it in my laundry room just in case we have any type of drainage. But I think we should be fine once we put them on here. Time for outside chores. I've got to get my stove cleaned out. I've got to go down the chicken coop. I've got to clean their waters, get eggs, and I'm actually burning up. I thought it was a lot colder out here than I anticipated, so I'm sweating. It is muddy, very muddy, and I think we are going to have a lot of rain this coming week too. So the mud situation ain't going to get much better. <laughs> We may have a dry day tomorrow, I think, but I don't know. I can't complain about the rain, though. Hey, chickens! Y'all, uh -huh. coming to collect eggs, collect rent. I thought my chickens weren't laying too good right now, but I was wrong. They were hiding them. I found them out in the runs around the um, straw bells. Yeah, they were out there. And then there were some in the nesting box, which they haven't laid in the nesting box in a while, so that threw me off. So the leghorn is the only one that's been laying them like in this one corner. And I thought, well, she's the only one laying right now. Boy, I was wrong. I was wrong. It is messy in here. Now that I'm feeling better, it is about time to get down here and eradicate some of this mess. You are not a good housekeeper. Come on, Betty. Y'all want clean water, don't you? Chicken waters need to stay clean. It's really important for their health. This, this system usually stays pretty clean, but I accidentally left the lid off one night, and so as they were kicking up stuff, it kind of got in there. Y'all, there's nothing in there yet, goofballs. All right, you guys, I got back inside and I looked at the temperature and it's actually 64, my husband said, as he was coming home on his car, it said it was 64. 64 in January, again? I don't know if that's a good sign or not. I'm going to check on the eggs. It's been like two hours, so let's see what they look like. Whoa, they are really dehydrating quickly. Man, I don't think these are gonna take as long as um, my tomatoes did. I don't know, we'll see. Good morning, hope you guys are having a great day. So I had worked on eggs last night, putting them in the dehydrator, and I started from liquid. I did not cook the eggs yet. I just mixed them up and poured them on this solid tray that I have, and I dehydrated them around 10 hours. And they may be a little oily, and that was normal, so they do feel a little oily, but they do feel like they're dried up. And I'm gonna go ahead and powder them, and just for experimental purposes, I'm gonna end up rehydrating them and cooking them and see how they taste compared to just a regular egg cracked open. All right, so this is eight eggs dehydrated and powdered. To get a one egg equivalent, you're gonna to wanna to take one tablespoon of egg powder, 
to two tablespoons of water. Let's let this sit for a few minutes. The consistency looks a little different. Um, maybe a little powdery still. It kind of looks a little textury, like there's still a little bit of powder in there. So I don't know if that'll affect the taste or anything like that or the way that it scrambles up, but let's, let's try it. All right, they have a little bit different of a look, so I'm gonna give them a try. Let's try it. <laughs> let's start off with a small bite. All right, let me be honest with y'all. So, the taste is pretty much there. It tastes normal, but the texture is different. So that is really hard for me to get past. Um, it was kind of like you could taste the little pieces and I don't know if it's because I didn't get it powdered up really fine and that might be the case. I may have to work on that and do something a little differently to get it to powder up like that. Um, maybe my blender, I, I don't know. But I still tasted kind of the little, I could still feel the little pieces grinded up in there. And so it wasn't as smooth. It just didn't have the same texture as, as regular eggs straight out of the shell and into the skillet taste. But um, as far as putting them away or maybe used for baking, they would be perfectly fine. Um, I'm also, heard that freezing is a really good route to take so I think I'm gonna try that too real with everybody here um, dilemma number two is when you put liquid egg in there it gets super messy and it's kind of ran down through my dehydrator all the way to the bottom which I didn't realize it, it was all over the bottom tray um, maybe I filled it a little too full but it did kind of run through and when it gets on something it is super hard to get off even my silicone trays i had to like fill up my big sink and soak it in some really hot soapy water to like scrub it off so that is not super fun um especially if you have like a whole lot of trays you had to do that with y'all can see the eggs they've got still a lot of the little pieces like you see in here and so I took some more out and put them in some hot water and just let them soak a lot longer and they'll still got all the little pieces in there. So I just don't know how to overcome this texture thing. I don't know. I, I probably wouldn't do this again, just me personally. So we're on to trying the freezing method and we'll see how that goes. So verdict y'all, this was honestly a very messy project. Been working on cleaning all this stuff. I finally got all the egg stuff off my dehydrator. It did take a while. They were very sticky and oily and greasy. I just didn't like the texture. I just, I hate that that happened, but I didn't. And maybe there's something else that, um, that I could do. If you guys have any tips and tricks on how to get these grinded up better and if that helps. All right, so I did some more research and it said that you really need to get these things grinded up to the finest powder that you can get them to. So I'm gonna run them through another strainer and see if this makes a difference. I mean, they're already looking way more powdery in there. Right, let's try to rehydrate these and see what this does. Well, I grinded them up a little more and they were really powdery. Still had a weird texture, so. I think it's a no-go for me. <laughs> All right, on to the next project. When I start the freezing, I'll let you guys know how that goes.